behind me I've got a shelf here that I've walked by a hundred times and I'm always thinking I'm coming after you I'm gonna clean up this shelf soon and I really haven't and it is a crazy disaster and I think I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these things off of here and put them away like further up and leave the things on that are still getting played with regularly and then I'll probably try to bring out just a couple things to freshen it up and hopefully give us some more ideas of things that we can be doing um, things maybe we forgot about so let's do it Lee got this out or if a bigger kid got it out we've got everything all crazy in here but that's okay we will get it taken care of are some fraction tiles and Rosalie actually has half of them not half but several all over the refrigerator right now so we'll leave these out and a couple of my kiddos are actually working on fractions right now both in third grade and in fifth grade so these um, are still getting some use I don't this version of life is different than what we played as a kid I really like it it's a lot of fun. Um, it has little pets in there and it just has more activities. There are some active cards. Not active, they're called action cards. But like this one says, buy a priceless painting. Tell everyone what it looks like. So you actually would have to describe to everybody what this priceless painting looks like. Like you might be like, Oh, I just bought a million dollar painting and it is of the most stunning doorknob you've ever seen. You know, so you get to make up what that painting looks like. And then it says pay the bank $50,000. So it gives you different things to do. Sometimes you get money. Like this one's uh, Pass Obedience School. That one might be a pet card actually. Things are all kind of mixed up. Yeah, that one's a pet card. But that's another one where you pay the bank. Let's see different houses, you know, more modern things. Aw, oh, this career is a dancer. Ooh, this one. Sell flowers from your garden, collect 70,000 from the bank. Anyway, fun game. I remember playing life as a kid and enjoying it, but they've added some extra things to kind of have you doing a little bit more throughout the game, I think. However, I have to say these little pieces Rosalie loves to get in here and dump this stuff out and I'm really hoping that we haven't lost those little pieces because this is actually Eowyn's game. You probably saw Rosalie play with this in the last day in the life and this was a great thrift store find actually. We got this at Goodwill for three dollars and I originally got it thinking that Carter would love it and he likes it. Um, but you, it has like different challenges. So you're going to make all these blocks here, or at least the ones that it identifies down here, the different shapes. You've got a triangle and then this is kind of like a rectangular prism, but with a slanted top and a rectangular prism and a cube. And, um, anyway, so you have to use those objects to make this shape. So it doesn't outline like where the triangle would be necessarily for you. Um, and then some of them are easier or harder. It starts you off easy. Like that's an easier one. Anyway, this is a fun one, and they actually have several more. This is Architecto, Architecto, 
they have several more, so it's something I've been keeping in mind for the next time we want to get some activities. I do recommend that. It's nice because it's like it scales up or down. So um, my math friend, she says low threshold, high ceiling. This is something that kids could just play, play with and use their creativity, or an older child could go ahead and do the puzzles. Another thrift store find. this at Walmart, um, but Rosalie re uses it regularly, so I think we'll keep this one out. We got this for our kiddo who is eight, thinking that it would be a nice introduction to risk for him. He is a history lover. Um, we thought this game would be right up his alley, but it I really think it kind of fell flat for him. I think it was a little bit too easy. So this is uh, Risk Jr. and it's ages five and up. And Rosalie's played with the little pieces more than he's ever played this game. So I don't know that this was a really good one for Carter Bug. This was a good find. We found we found this kit at Ollie's, and I don't remember how much it was, but I know that it was a pretty big discount, but it's a little sewing set. Anyone's enjoyed it. More fraction practice. I think I'm gonna leave this out. I think this would be a good thing for us to play together. Uh, we haven't played it in a while. It's math stacks and it works on, can you see it there? It's for equivalent fractions. So it'll have a fraction on the number line. It'll have um, like a group. And so you might say two thirds of the group is shaded or it'll have parts of a whole and then it gives the numerical form. Rosalie got this for Christmas. It's a puzzle game. It's a little bit too hard for her right now. I think we're gonna go ahead and put it up for a while. Though a really good challenge for Carter and myself. This is a fun one. So I'll probably find the yellow pencil that comes with it soon but it is Picasso tiles, and you like run over the things and, um, to make them go away, and you have this magnetic pencil that will pull out the dots so you can draw pictures on it, or letters or numbers or whatever. It's a fun one. saw this at Goodwill and I just had flashbacks to my own childhood and I had to get it. You know, it's fun for about two minutes. I don't know, do you guys play with this like for a really long time? Because 
It just doesn't seem to hold our interest, but it's fun for a little bit. When I was getting back to school stuff for the big kids, I saw this little writing journal on Amazon and I had to get it. It's really cute. So it's, it's one of the beginning writer type things. So it's laid out so that you can have a title and then draw a picture and then write your story out. And I think, it, I think this would be wonderful for a kindergartner, first grader, second grader. Um, you know, it's not something that my three-year-old needs right now, but I just thought, what fun. I thought maybe she would draw some pictures and I would go ahead and have her narrate, tell me what was happening, and I'd write it down there. But, you know, it was an idea that never came to fruition. Maybe one day. Hey, Rosalie. Hi, boy. It is your book. You want to write in it? Here's another low threshold, high ceiling game, Banana Grams. So it's a word game similar to Scrabble, except that you build upon it, kind of like. Yeah, that's a game that we love it. Not build up like, uh, what is it? Up stacks or something like that. Not that kind of build up. Banana Grams. But, but it's just a very fluid game. You just try to no, use up all your letters and you can rearrange that. things. Um, but right now, I'm keeping this out because Rosalie has been interested in learning her letters. She knows R and A so far. And, um, also H. And H. And sometimes C and B. Yeah. Right, so she's interested yeah. in learning them. E. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to leave these out so Rosalie can keep playing with them, okay? Yeah, because I love those letters. So now go on, y'all. Okay. This was on a previous day in the life, and Ayo and loves it. She got it for Christmas from one of her loving aunts and plays with it a good bit. So we are definitely keeping this out. That was cool. No, I think Aunt Christy got it for it. What? I think Aunt Christy got it. Oh, yeah. The rock tumbler was from Mom. No, the rock tumbler was from Mommy and Daddy. Oh, you didn't get that. That's your nose and right, your eyes. Get it right. Why? Do you love it or do you hate it? I love it. Rosalie loves it. Her sister got it for her for Christmas. Yeah, because that's not broken. I was just teasing about mom broken it. I didn't break it. I mean, mean I broke it. I mean, I just didn't break it. So I wanted to do some music so I won't get broken. Okay. Now I need to make dad this. All right. For him. He's like a shadow. Okay, but he can see it. I just so. can't believe it, Mom. What? That it was worth buying, not buying, but get, um, getting, getting that free download pack. Mm -hmm. Because now I got, I got Clay, I got Macy, I got Lance. 
So I put these magnetic letters in this magnetic tin, thinking that maybe she could use the, like, you know, the magnetic tin itself to have the letters. But she seems most interested in putting them in yeah. the refrigerator or putting, put it, pressing them into Play-Doh. So, you know, it is what it is. This the is, lid is actually this upstairs. Is, this is, is A for Dad. No, see, that's B. That's B, B, but that is for Daddy's name, Brian. B, right. a full shadow of Dad's name. <laughs> and, and, yes, and this is a full shadow of Huntley's Good job. Oh, that's the letter H for Huntley. And I want one for Dad's name. Of course. Yep, another B. And R for Rosalie. Alexandria. Yep, R for Rosalie. You got it. Somebody's nose name. One dollar. Now, 16 for... That is nine. Nine full can of We got this when we were doing Adventures in U.S. History, and the kids really enjoyed it, particularly Carter. He's my history guy. But <laughs> anyone enjoyed it, too. But um, it's a United States puzzle, and when you pull it out, it has the capital. It has pictures for different iconic things for the state. And on the back, it has the state birds. Ooh. You love Abba. Simon, the new style. What people love for whole white cakes. Sometimes you just need a clipboard for whatever, huh? Going out on a walk outside, or you're sitting on the couch and you want to watch a drawing video on the TV and you want to draw, huh? Yeah. yeah. If you want to play these, look, I made a playing it. A dry erase book for times tables. Yeah, I love it. You love it. Rosalie loves the color in it, but Carter uses it for school sometimes. This is just a folder of paper, and it is definitely staying here. Oh, sorry, I bumped your head. It hey, didn't hurt. Have to draw. Thank you. Yeah. Mom, will you get me a marker for this? Yeah, I'll get you a marker. timer just went off for the yogurt. I think I should go check on it. I got my stack of games back there that I need to work on, so I'm gonna go finish taking care of that, do some switcheroos, and hopefully by the time Brian and Naylon get him from basketball today, it'll be like, oh, what's this over here? All right, so this one's a favorite for sure by Melissa and Doug. It's a tan gram set. All the kids like to play with this. You guys are too loud. Hey, Rosalie and Carter, too loud. My goal is to have the top of this shelf clear. Inevitably, we will put stuff on there again and again, but my goal is to have that top part a flat surface. We shall see. Got a couple headbands. This is supposed to go in the rock tumbler kit. But I'm gonna put it in here because the rock tumbler kit is downstairs and she knows to look for it in here. She being a. If you know this bag, you know this bag. This was Amazon's gift bags this year. And inside of this is a bunch of Play-Doh stuff that Rosalie likes to play with, kitchen things. A little oven to make cakes in.
a little stand mixer that you press cookies into. It has like a little mold. She plays with this a lot. So it's staying. This is Rosalie's hodgepodge collection. She loves to play with beads, and this is mostly beads. I think I'm just gonna put them all in this container. They aren't really all originally a part of this set, but at least they're beads, and they're together. Now she has a new bead container, right? Oh no. This was a cute little set, but the, this is not holding up. This isn't gonna last much longer. She got this just a couple months ago. Our thumb piano has seen better days. Terrific game for preschoolers. Spot it, numbers and shapes for ages three and up. Educational game for two to six players. Everybody puts their cards down and you have to be the first one to say what they all have in common. For example, I see two eights or I see two twos or I see um, two yellow triangles. And a fraction piece. Now, where's my bag? Oh, right here. Right. I think we'll put back in here some watercolors and paintbrushes. And some writing utensils.
the proper vernacular is that we have forced heat with a wood stove. So we have an outdoor wood stove and the air gets um, fed through our house through central AC and it makes our air somewhat dry as I think a lot of homes are in the winter. So I do like to have the humidifier running, but as crazy as that shelf spin, sometimes I forget to go ahead and put the water in there. Go ahead and wipe these out. I think we've gotten rid of the puzzle pieces that came in this. So I just went ahead and put in a thing of dominoes and then these smaller games and they're all number related. The dominoes, the math stacks, the spot it, and the multi-sided die. Like um, I think there is the six, maybe a nine, and then also a 12 I think in there. So anyway, I just thought maybe that might make it easier to stack everything and keep it organized. empty right now but I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave it knowing that it's probably gonna fill up some and I am gonna go get a few more things a few different things that we haven't played with in a while to add to this shelf probably a little bit too much in there though right sequence letters. I'm gonna finish hauling some of this stuff up to the shelf where we keep most of our board games. Hopefully they'll fit. My clever husband made these. He had to rip this off of something and he just used his saw to cut down into it a little bit at an angle so that we could hold our playing cards in there. It's really good for the younger kids in particular. Well, I'd say it looks 
looks better, right? Get a little sweep right there. Maybe add this. It's an improvement and I'm happy with that. I think I want to scoot this down a little bit. I like it more there. My husband likes things to be symmetrical. He'd want it right here. I like things to be more asymmetrical, so I'd want it down there. I think I'm gonna take this and get to work. <laughs> 